Hey everyone, welcome back to another KSP tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a targeted landing. And now, why the hell do you want to make a targeted landing? Well, it's simple. For example, if you do want a rendezvous with a spaceship, uh, a spaceship on the ground, or one of your rockets on the ground, or if you want to, you know, obviously send a rescue mission. And of course, the main thing is you want to do it for in terms of building a base. You obviously want to keep landing at the same place. Now, there's two ways of doing this. One, it's using MechJeb, which I have never used in my entire life, and I think it spoils the game. And two, it's uh, doing it manually, which is uh, this way, without MechJeb, and just using your own sort of feel for the game and common logical sense, and a little bit of uh, mathematical basics. Well, no calculations whatsoever, but uh, for those of you who know a little bit of math, you'll understand what uh, I'm doing, and it'll sort of make sense. You'll have that Eureka moment. So. Uh, let's get to it. First thing is first, you're obviously going to have to take a look at where your actual target is. So I obviously need to land here. Okay, here is my actual ship, which I crashed in my previous tutorial, which is uh, how to land on the bright side and the dark side. So we'll take a look at that and you'll see how that is. Now, of course, I sent my uh, spaceship, that being this one, V2, to land on this one. Ironically, when I actually entered orbit of the moon, I got the same pattern, you know. Uh, same actual orbital trajectory. So uh, that's why I jumped to this ship. This one doesn't already have it. So first thing what you're going to do is you're going to need to make your orbit equal or pass over the actual target. That being your moon base, your, your ship, or whatever it is. So let's take a look. I don't exactly know which side I got to do first. So I'm going to try it out both ways and see which one actually is the correct side. So yeah, this is the correct side, so it's fine. Because uh, if you do it on this side, these two sides go up and down. If I make the node from here, this goes up and this goes down. So so I got it correct. Uh, I can't really never remember. So remember, there's our ship. So let's try to get it right on top of our target. Right on top of our target. Now, even better way is to make an angled view. An angled view is much more accurate. As you see, if you look at it from the front, it's not as accurate, but if you look at it from an angle, you get it much more accurate. Remember, put them both on top of each other, yeah? Put them both on top of each other. My mouse is being a little bit of annoying, but... Uh, there we go, and we're pretty much right on top of our target. Okay, so we're going to do this as uh, the first stage. We're burning in uh, 46 minutes. So let's get it down to zero, speed it up a bit, 45, 44, come on a little bit quicker. Four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Okay, switch off the SAS, five, four, three, two, one, and here we're gonna burn. Now we're gonna burn for one minute and 44 seconds, and we are gonna actually change our orbit, which is completely this one to this new orbit, which is this one, which actually goes over our target, which is exactly what we need. So that's it. We're going to burn for one minute and uh, 28 seconds till we get that orbit done. So I'm going to jump. I'm not going to make you wait for one minute and 20 seconds. I'll just jump right back once I get my orbit going right above my actual target. So see you guys in a second. So back I am. Here it is. Now I have created my orbit, which is this. Of course, I switched to my Dumbo 2 to uh, show you that it's pretty much right on target. I need just a little bit of an adjustment. It means let's get a little bit over it. Let's hold on. Let's make a maneuver. I'm going to move a little bit down, I guess. No, that's the opposite way. A little bit down, I guess. There it is. Yep, yep that's pretty much it. So uh, let's now burn. How are we 58 minutes away from our burn? The problem is with the ship that I forgot to put my RCS on it, but uh, never mind. Everybody does stupid mistakes. Okay, there we go, 58 minutes away, let's speed it up. Ah, two minutes off. Never mind. Two seconds to burn. Okay. Now let's just recheck our actual orbit. Nope, let's then make one right in front of it. Add maneuver. Let's 
still a little bit high. You see the line? It's still a little bit high, so we need to get it a little bit lower. There it is. That's what we need. We're 40 seconds away. It's only a four second burn. Okay, 30 seconds. 20 seconds. 3, 2, 1. And we're burning. Okay. And if you see now, our actual blue line is going right above our target orbit. So, the next thing we're going to do now, of course, is reduce our actual altitude, which we pretty much did already. It's at 84,000. What I'm going to try to do is reduce the opposite side to... Fifty thousand. I'm gonna try to get them both to fifty. Okay, let's go around. And we have this one finally at forty-five thousand. And what we're gonna do is at forty-five thousand, I'm gonna start maybe a centimeter away from my target. It means my target now is now here. I'm gonna start around here, breaking burning towards the yellow circle with the cross, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's slow it down, let's rotate. Unfortunately, I stuck my SAS on, but forgot to put on my thrusters. And as well, I forgot to put on my lights on the ship, but never mind. Okay, and there we are. So I'm going to start burning now. I'm going to start burning now, because my target is there. And I'm going to start burning. It means I'm braking. Look at my speed. My speed is going down. Of course, my orbit's going to be collapsing in. And hopefully, I'm going to try to get it as close as possible. Now, of course, when I see that I already I have enough to cope with the actual speed, that I'm not really getting close to my target as much, I can stop it. But I won't. I'm going to let it go a little bit more, because I don't know how fast I'm going to travel. I'm going to stop it, and then I'm going to get a little bit closer. Let's get a little bit closer. Remember, now I'm landing here. And stop it there. Move, and start my burn again. Okay. Now I hope we should be able to kill the speed. I think we should be able to kill the speed that I won't cross it. This is the trick, you know. It's always better to be safe. It means try to burn a little bit before. Now I might actually not be able to make it. It means I'm actually going to cross my target, which means I'm going to have to switch my actual orbit. You know, but let's see. I might be lucky. Okay, there it is, there it is, and stop. Now what we're going to do is, you see my target is below, so we're going to make another node, because I have no idea which way to burn. What the hell happened? We are going to make a node. Shout up two, that's exactly what we want. We're going to make a node, no. God damn it, double click on that. That's the problem when you're too close. You gotta create a maneuver node, and again, you're gonna get it, try to get it on target. So, there we go. Nope. Cancel that. Add maneuver. Let's take a look. Are we going down? Yeah, we're going down. Come on. So you're going to go like that. Add maneuver. And then you're going to move it down. Now watch this. Now try to stay ahead of it, remember? It means I'm ahead of it now. It means the moment I break, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the actual orbit and remember it goes closer. So it's always good to keep it a little bit ahead of it. Yeah. So, hold on. I passed the actual node. It's a two second burn. There it is. Watch the actual line move. Okay. I'm gonna burn a little bit more actually. And stop it there. Okay, now, excellent thing to do is obviously to move towards uh, the yellow circle to cross because we're going to have to break. We're at 29,000 meters and we're going to have to break. And now, the cool thing is that you're pretty much already, uh, your your velocity, I don't know how, I don't really know how to explain this. Your velocity is, is pretty much straight. It means you're pretty much flying straight down. All I got to do is make sure the cross is completely centered. Then I know I don't have any side force. So, I'm pretty much right on top of my target. Now, the cool thing is, if I'm going to let this actually go a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to start breaking now. What I'm going to try to do is get my yellow circle with the cross right centered with the actual dot. And once I get that done, then I'm pretty much going down. Straight down. Straight, straight down. Okay. Where's the dot? Nope, I still got to burn a little bit more. And then I got to get rid of the damn node because I still have the node stats. So I'm going to burn more. See the yellow circle is moving down. I want to get that dot centered. Did I get the dot centered? Pretty much. A little bit from this side. Okay. Let's kill my damn node. That's messing it up for me. And that's it. And down we go. Now, of course... What you got to understand is... As you break, you can create another node and burn towards the target either from here or... The easiest trick to do is look at your target. Let's see my target is there. And I'm going to point my nose towards it. Like that. See? Then I'm going to burn. Which means the blue line obviously is going to move towards my actual target. Simple as that. And at the same time I'm breaking, yeah? So I'm going to move my actual orbit towards my target. And stop it there. And then... Now, we don't want to change our path of landing, so we're going to burn straight center on the actual yellow with the cross. We don't want to move it, we don't want to change it, we want to keep the same trajectory, the same path of flight that we have now. We want to keep the same path of flight that we have, so I don't want to move the line anywhere. I want to keep it as it is, I just want to slow down. You know, I hope that makes some sense. Now, if I look at my path, I'm pretty much flying there. To the right. You know, same thing. Now what I'm going to do is point towards my target. Because I do want to fly towards it. Let's say it's there. Okay. And then burn towards it. Okay. Take a look at your projector, you see? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fast forward, I'm only 8,000, so I know I'm at 43 kilometers per second, 43 meters. So I know I can pretty much break that very, very quickly. Now there I am, 4 kilometers, and I think I'm right on top of it. So what I'm going to do now, is obviously I'm going to kill all the speed that I have and keep that yellow, yellow cross on the center. It means that the, the, the middle of that, right on the actual yellow cross. So let's get it centered first. And I think that's pretty much centered, I'm not sure. Hold on, no, I think it's a little bit from here, yeah. And now we're pretty much centered, so I'm gonna put my SAS on the center, and I'm gonna just burn at full power. 
There we go. I just gotta make sure the yellow circle stays centered. And it is right in the center. I'm just checking if it's in the center. And uh, I'm gonna obviously gonna start braking. Lower my landing gear. Lower my landing gear. And down we go. I'm on 1.4 kilometers away. Of course, I can get close by just uh, doing more of these grasshopper jumps that I that I so call call them. So. I'm going a little bit too slow for such an altitude, yeah, so... The problem is with my landing strut, if I release the strut, it'll actually uh, cause my uh, ship to be unstable, so I'm not going to use that at all. I'm just not sure if I'll be able to land without it, so... Okay. Perfect. We're 300 meters away. And right before we land or hit the ground, then I'll actually release the strut. So hopefully I'll get minimal. 9.2. Eight, five, four, three point eight, three point seven. I'm looking at the speed, of course. Okay, and there we go. As you see, I have landed pretty much as close as it'll go, I'm sure. If you, you're probably going to get it better than me, you can land even closer. But this is pretty much it. It's it's really easy to, to actually land your targeted landing on a specific point on uh, the actual map. It's even easier if you know exactly where that target is, which it's, which you will know because it'll show you on the actual map. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty easy in terms of that. Um, keep in mind, you know, uh, as you're going to be doing this the first few times, you're probably going to land 1.4, 1.5 kilometers away. You can always do those sort of grasshopper jumps that I showed you. You point, to, you make your nose point towards the target. You increase your speed, and as you do that, of course, you're killing your speed. And uh, you can, what you could do, is completely kill your speed to zero, and then you'll actually go back up. In, you'll actually like increase your altitude, but it doesn't mean that you'll go back out of orbit. So what you can do is kill your speed, increase your speed, get like, I don't know, plus uh, 5 or 10 meters per second, and then press X to kill your actual throttle. That means you're going to be doing like these sort of grasshop jumps, that, that's what I call them, you know, grasshop jumps in space. So you can, you sort of jump closer towards your target. You know, y you can have, you know, a go at that. You know, I might actually make an advanced one that shows more of these small little tricks, but th this is generally it. You know, you just change your orbit to go right on top of your target, then uh, you start to break in your orbit. And uh, as you get closer, you know, you make small adjustments as you have seen here. And if you've watched my docking tutorial, and uh, if you sort of have an idea on how the actual physics works, uh, then what I pretty much show you should uh, give you a eureka moment, and you should have figured out how this works, so you can mess about, of course, try it out yourself. Now, keep in mind, this is just my opinion, you know, you should have, you know, tug tugboats or... Uh, tug ships or uh, tug trucks in this case since we do have the wheel upgrade now so if you land a little bit far away you can always uh, you know use your uh, tug truck to drive the you know whatever the half a kilometer away you know attach and pull it pull it towards your base you know so this is this is the whole experience of it you know but again this is just my opinion I hope you guys enjoyed another tutorial that I have made in case you have any ideas or in case you actually love my tutorial do just comment down below and give it a thumbs up and uh, happy gaming see you guys in another tutorial see ya